Spring is springing. The birds are chirping and the flowers are blooming. The bees are a-buzzing. And great, now we can get stung by bees. Perfect. Hey everyone, welcome to D News. I'm Trace and today we have a special guest from SourceFed, Joe Beretta. Hello everyone. Hello. Bees are some of the coolest insects around, would you agree? I would. Oh great. There are tens of thousands of different species of bees and their stings are legendary. Though not all bees can sting. Some don't have stingers at all, while others have barbed ones that get stuck inside of your skin and it rips their bottom off of their body. It's really gross and cool. Yeah, it's weird. Bees sting using a modified ovipositor or egg-laying organ. Mm. Scientists think that it evolved from the bee's ancestors, which were the wasp. Fun fact, Joe, uh, ants are also related to wasps, which is weird. Fun or fact, they're all trying to kill you. A venom gland produces the bee poison, and the stinger provides a path for the venom into the target. Bee poison, or apitoxin, is a clear, bitter-tasting cocktail of enzymes and proteins that creates inflammation, pain, adrenal response, and then they begin to melt the cell membranes near the sting site. It also contains a mild neurotoxin, which can be pretty useful for the bee if it's stinging its prey. Bee stings might seem like the worst thing ever when you're a kid, but really they're not that bad, unless you're allergic, because then you might die. Right, I actually, I stepped on a bee once and my foot got all swollen and it stung me in that last act of defiance. <laughs> the Schmidt Pain Index would have actually told you how much that bee sting hurt on a scale from zero to four, with four being the most painful. Yeah, yeah, I remember this. This is the where the descriptions were just ridic. Take the bald-faced hornet. The description of its sting is a rich, hearty, slightly crunchy sting, similar to getting your hand mashed in a revolving door. 2.0. Oh, I see, it's like tasting wine. Mm hmm yeah. The thing is, a sweat bee could sting you on the back of the hand and then say on the forehead, and that would be two totally different types of pain, right? Exactly, and new research in the journal Pure J used honeybees. A 2.0 on the Schmidt Pain Index. Mm -hmm. To find the worst places a bee can sting on the male body. Wait, just the male body? I think we all know where the worst place to get stung on the male body. Oh. Obviously it's the nostril. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I was, that's... I was doing this type of point. Right, <laughs> That's exactly yeah. what I was thinking. Uh, the researcher Michael Smith literally subjected himself to honeybee stings in various places on his body, and then he ranked the results. The top three most painful places, according to this, an adult male human can be stung. The penis shaft, 7.1. The upper lip, 8.7. And the winner, the nostril, at 9.0. Ta -da. Smith described being stung in the nostril as a whole body response. He was sneezing, coughing, the mucus was just falling out of his nose like that guy whose face melts when he opens the arc. It sounds terrible. Let's just not get stung by bees then, okay? Like Deal. mustache can protect my upper lip and then I can just guard my nose and crotchal regions from flying insects. Sounds pretty easy. And about two million people in the US, by the way, are allergic to bee stings. That's actually not very many. If it's you think true, about it. though, because when a bee is around, everyone runs around and freaks out pretending they're allergic. It's just it's just a sweat bee, guys. 1.0 on the Schmidt pain scale. Wait, what's the highest? The highest and the worst is the Pepsis wasp or tarantula hawk. Yeah, it kills tarantulas. But what do you guys think? Have you ever been stung by a bee? Come find us on Google Plus, Facebook, and Twitter and describe your pain. Get creative. Thanks for watching. And Joe, where can people come and find you? Oh, you can find me all over the YouTubes. You can go to youtube.com slash sourcefed or youtube.com slash Baratz and Beretta. 